state-of-the-art art of the, art of the state began in May 2011 and it was inspired by our former director Deborah Velders. The idea was to invite all comers, North Carolina residents, to bring one piece of their work to Cameron Art Museum in Wilmington during a 24-hour window of opportunity. And then our staff took that work of art and installed it wherever. So that was another unmediated event. The space is not curated. The exhibition is made up of 637 pieces produced by any North Carolinians, professional or not, who cared to share. My name is Ben Billingsley. I teach at Cape Fear Community College here in Wilmington. My grandfather was a WPA era painter and ceramicist. He taught at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. And both of my parents are artists as well, and they actually are in the exhibition. The piece I brought in today was of a homeless man. He was just so beautiful. I said to him, if I paint you, maybe somebody can see what you, something in you that what you have to go through so they could be more understanding of what you have to face in this country. The reason why I ended up making this portrait nude was because I'd gone through a lot of uh, changes in my life, um, finding a new spirituality and love for God. We find this year's participants, it's been highly curious in the vulnerability that the artists have brought. And time and again, we found out the content was unnervingly personal. It is Debbie in Heaven. The name of it is Debbie in Heaven. The subject is my sister Debbie, who passed away of ovarian cancer in 1999. And so I found a wonderful childhood picture. I cut out uh, her picture and I gave her wings using a butterfly magnet and I put her in heaven. So the, the phrase Southern heritage gets thrown around a lot and I felt that as a white Southern male artist it was important for me. I felt a moral obligation for me to respond to that. When I look back at my family tree uh, it's full of slave owners, Confederate veterans, um, KKK members. So the piece is made from um, Spanish moss that's found from my, the graveside of my ancestors, uh, going back several generations. And that would be the Confederate veteran, the KKK member, and things like that. The work represents uh, a period when my father was dying and uh, the experience of his death. I began it when I came back to uh, my home and sat down and felt a lot of emotion. And uh, it just happened. This is the third go-round for state-of-the-art art of the state at CAM, a unique museum with an equally alternative exhibit. It's quite a curious creation. We're 55 years old. There's not another museum in the state like us. We aren't state-affiliated, university-affiliated. We truly belong to the community. And that holds us highly accountable to be in service to that community. In state of the art, it really, time and time again, we feel that it is a help to our community. The community loves it. We've, got, we've gotten increasingly more participation from the community of North Carolina. We have artists traveling all the way from Asheville, Durham, Bertie County, you name it. There is this opportunity evidently is quite resonant for the artists and for our public. State of the Art is on display at the Cameron Art Museum through July 12th. The Cameron is at 3201 South 17th Street in Wilmington, and the museum is open Tuesday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and they're open late on Thursday evenings. For more information, give them a call at 910-395-5999 or go online to cameronartmuseum.org.